guys, today I am with... Noah, Jacob, Matthew, Sam, Olivia. Oh, so close. <laughs> hey guys, today I am with... Noah, Jacob, Matthew, Sam, Olivia. <laughs> and I'm going to be forcing I'm them here. to watch some K-pop videos again. Mm. I think this is actually the first one we filmed this year. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, April, so oh, back on the grind. Oh, we're a bit no. late on the update. <laughs> but today I'm going to be showing you guys some new boy group videos. There have been so many boy group comebacks recently, so if your faves aren't in here, I'm very sorry. But let's go. So we're going to start off with probably one of the biggest ones that's happened recently, and that is BTS. Ooh, but before I show you guys the video, I need to talk to you guys and you guys. For LV Bantan. So uh, BTS actually partnered with UNICEF to create a campaign which is the Love Yourself campaign and it's also called the End Violence campaign and is to help stop teen violence. So stuff like sexual abuse, assault, stuff like that. And LV Bantan are actually an independent promoter of the campaign and what they do is they create merch for BTS fans and the proceeds then go towards the campaign and spreading the message of the campaign, which I think is pretty cool. I'm gonna leave the link to the store in the description and you can actually use the code LexiMarie for 10% off your order, so. But yes, BTS' most recent comeback, this is for their album Map of the Soul Persona, which is part of a new series of albums, and this song actually features Halsey. And when this song came out, it um, actually broke the 24 hour record and got like a lot of millions of views <laughs> and um, it's already at 142 million views and it came out four days ago. Wow. So that's, that's big numbers. BTS boy with love let's get. <clears throat> I've not been looking at the subtitles, so I've got no <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cool. back like off a fangirl, yeah. <laughs> it's good that it keeps switching like aesthetics. It's just literally wearing a feather boa, like like one song, like stand. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, does Halsey sing in Korea? Yeah. Though? In the album version, she sings a lot more. First features they've done, just work with designer and Nicki Minaj. This first one was they actually been in the music video with them. Such good music, just ruined by Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if you like dyed hair, Jacob, then who's better, Tae Young or Halsey? Blue hair. 
Thing when I first reacted to it in the album version, so the actual version with that, like, that's not the music video, uh, she does every chorus and has the whole chorus to herself pretty much. But I don't get why they didn't put her in the music video more. Mm, like, in that yeah. video, she seemed more of like one of them rather than her own sound one artist. I didn't mind that though, I like that. Yeah. But what do you think about the aesthetic and stuff? I love that. Yes. Yeah. And it's unmatched. <laughs> it was it was good like transition like, from aesthetic to aesthetic. Like no like Western music videos are like that good aesthetically. None of them look as good. <laughs> so no. Yeah boy! They actually performed on SNL and stuff like that recently and they're actually gonna be performing with Halsey at the BBMA Awards, so Ooh. Ooh. Oh, icon. boys are coming <laughs> through. So the next song I'm gonna show you guys is actually a good one to follow BTS with because it is Big Hit's new group uh, TXT. Um, which are a new, it's five members in there, five member boy group, and they're all our age actually, which is really quite depressing. No. <laughs> but everyone was really, really hyped for these guys, and this is their new song Crown, it's their debut, it's a bloody banger. Yes. Let's go. Let's get it. It's that intro, you know it's gonna be good, but it's got an intro. This is new, I haven't seen that intro before. <laughs> Ooh, well, cool. I already like it. <laughs> Same, I already like that. <laughs> No, he's I like how he's got the like little like black box on the top yeah, of the bottom, like a fit, of it, but he yeah. goes outside, yeah.
Yeah. Think we can find BTS already. I prefer this one, yeah. personally. Well, that's one because of the effects rather than the aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah, you I think prefer the colours and the aesthetics of the BTS video, but this one, yeah, the video, the video I prefer, prefer the, the choreography, BTS, I prefer the song, yeah. and also the effects and everything. These seem different to BTS, like in concept, to you guys. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I think, of course, they're going to have their similarities because they're the same company, but they're so Look. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of that one? I like that one. Yes, yeah, that I mean, one good. I still prefer the video from the BTS one, but the song I much prefer, yeah. Because obviously BTS are probably, arguably, one of the biggest K-pop groups at the moment internationally. <laughs> Please don't go mad at me in the comments on that one. Um, and obviously when they announced this group, there was a lot of hype about them, just because they were a new group from BTS's label. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think, do you look at them as another BTS or do you see them as I feel like the BTS, they like seem more professional, but like these, it just looks like a bunch of teenagers having fun on stage. Yeah. I feel like they need more time to like, make themselves into something. Yeah, to, like, like, they have, yeah, like if they're, they're very new, like they haven't had a lot of time to like find their sound, you know? Yeah. They're, they're coasting on a bit of BTS right now, but then eventually they'll blossom to their own thing. Wow, that was emotional. I mean, they've, got <laughs> they've still got to compete with everyone else as yeah. well, so yeah. I mean, Give them a bit of time, <laughs> winning algorithm, so yeah. may as well. And they actually got their first win on a music show TXC, I think it was like nine days after they debuted, which is one of the fastest. Oh but did yeah. you like that more or less than the BTS song? I liked it more. Oh, I, liked I liked the too. song more, the song. Yeah. I liked it more. Woohoo! Okay. I feel like I'm betraying Holmes as well. <laughs> <laughs> so the third song I'm going to show you guys is by EXO. Which, if you guys remember last time, well, this is Kaylin's territory, tempo. actually. <laughs> the tempo <laughs> And I actually showed this song to Kaylin in the video that we did where I showed them EXO songs but this is the double title track to Tempo so when they repackage the album they've got a different title track and this is Love Shot so if you guys remember Tempo this is a bit different to it but yeah EXO are a nine membered boy group from SM Entertainment and they are another one of really really big boy groups so they are the big boys big boy players so yeah Love Shot let's get <laughs> I already love the aesthetic. Wait, I was about to say the you guys, you guys will love the aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Urban look. It's weird because the dancing seems so aggressive, but the song's really chill. Oh! <laughs> 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 this is like a l very different compared to other K pop songs you showed us. Yeah. The other ones are like softer. This is more yeah. Like, this is saucy. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, this, this seems to be targeted towards one of the most. Well, Kayla loved it. <laughs> but I think it's such a sick aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. The colours are much harsher, less pastel. Oh, check you! Yeah, guns, alcohol, and money. They're <laughs> yeah. not like K-pop conventions. Yeah, they're more Western. Western, yeah. Western like hip-hop. Money, alcohol. Oh. 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 I hate straight up holding up water. It's the love shot! It's the love shot! How cute it's evolved. That's our goal. Who would win? A Glock or. Or the love shot. Or the love shot. That's our producer. It's helpful. Not dance. Don't speak to me. What do you think of the outfits? I like them, they're so like bougie yeah. and like yeah. extra. They look designer and. Hell yeah, they do! How did they win with the water pistols? It's the love shot, man. It's the love <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh. Love shot. Love shot. 
try for your boot open. Don't try for your boot open, kids. If we feel coming out of the first boot open. Oh, somebody hit for us. <laughs> oh, I like oh, that bit. Oh. Oh. What do you guys think of that one? Well. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, he's like, oh, very, very <laughs> different to the other ones, but I really like that. Yeah, I really like um, the aesthetic and the all like that. Oh. EXO are always like bringing new, new, <laughs> new stuff. Yeah, EXO just bringing out new new sounds all the time. That was probably like the quietest you guys have been through. Was, Everyone was yeah, just yeah, like... Was like <laughs> proper it was very different to what I normally expect from K-pop, because K-pop's more like pastel, like Sam said, and like softer colours. But this was like very dark and sharp in your face. It was a lot like a hip hop video. Yeah, though. yeah. I can compare it to that. It's like hip hop with a K pop twist because they're all like dancing and shit. Yeah. It's fuck all. <laughs> so, like, do you guys remember Tempo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What do you think of that compared yeah. to this? Yeah. Which yeah. This pretty much followed up. <laughs> 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 wow, it's like they're in the room. What do you think of this compared to that? Because obviously this came straight after. Well, very different. <laughs> very fundamentally different. <laughs> See, I think yeah. like Tempo, I remember like. I it, remember it's the song like more than this stuck one. in my head. Yeah. Like, it could be one of those songs that I just think about it and it's still stuck in my head. But yeah, this, I feel like I have to listen to it a few times. Mm -hmm. It's a grower. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta show up, show up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next song I'm going to show you is another group that we've reacted to before just because I just love them so much. And this is Cherry Kids. And yeah, you guys should know by this point. They are a nine member boy group from Chihuahua. Every time. <laughs> Every, Every time. time. And uh, this is their new comeback, Mido. This is just a freaking banger, to be honest. I don't know what else to say about it, really. You guys have reacted to Stray Kids a lot in the past, and you've had mixed reactions. You kind of didn't like them, and then you loved them, and you didn't like them. So I'm curious to see where this one stands, because a lot of people have said that this song has a more Western influence. So I'm curious to see where you stand with that. So, let's Stray Kids, Miro, let's go. You happy? <laughs> Oh my god, Jacob, you'll love this. Soviet undertones. I was just thinking that. It reminds me of like the Hunger Games almost. Yeah. Like... Oh. oh, what? It's the man behind the scenes. <laughs> what's in the snow? The <laughs> calm down, calm down. <gasps> you get a lot of like, anarchy vibes, you know? Mm. That's all for now. That's all for now. What's this revolution? Nine-person revolution. This is this is this implies capable. Sam, can you pass that pillow behind you, the brown one? This one. Yes! My boys did that. It looks like um, the old Spider-Man film. <laughs> yeah. 
I find the, the aesthetic quite interesting because that green screen isn't the best, but it's done with that it's, one it's purpose. On purpose. Yeah. yeah, it kind of looks bad, but like. All these outfits! Oh. <laughs> Wait, the best line. Check these subtitles. Wow. <laughs> Bear Grylls replied. You tweet that to someone. They named for Bear. <laughs> It's the close-up camera. Like, all I like throw about close-up camera was like someone in the background like absolutely beaming with smiles off. <laughs> wow. I like the masks of the um, so background cool, arms. Yeah. It reminds me of the purge films. Yeah. yeah. They changed my control <coughs> I've noticed a lot that during like these videos, I feel like recently in K-pop videos there's been a lot more of a concept behind it and you guys seem a lot more attentive. Like we used to talk a lot over the videos but now we're all just so like... Yeah, <laughs> I like the concepts of like music videos. It's just like, I like a story to go along with it. And this album, freaking banging. But yeah, we think of like... The aesthetic and the song and the yeah, I like you said with the like the green screen. Like some of it felt like it was, I mean, like it's clearly like a very high budget yeah music video, but it made made to look like it's a low budget one. Mm. But it looks cool. I like it. Oh, and the song itself slapped. Yeah, <laughs> as Shakespeare Slaps. once said. <laughs> As um, um, Gandhi once said, I this song slap. <laughs> and so compared to the other songs, you like it more. Gandhi once said, I could take care to this song. <laughs> <laughs> so compared to the other songs, you like this more or less? More, more, yeah. Yeah, I like the concept behind the song more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the final song that I've actually got to show you guys is by a group that we haven't reacted to, and people have Ooh. been freaking requesting. Like, if you look in the comments, you'll probably see about. A million comments about this group, and that is 80s. So I don't know a lot about 80s, but then I think eight member group from KQ Entertainment. They had quite a lot of hype around them because they had some dance videos that went like low key viral before they debuted. And now that they've debuted, everybody just seems to freaking love them, and they're one of the biggest rookie groups at the moment, I'd say. They're doing like a world tour at the moment. They came to England. They've done. They've done all sorts. But yes, this is Say My Name. Say my name. <laughs> And on that note, let's go! <laughs> oh, there are subtitles. Oh! This is going to be a first for me as well. I've only watched that one twice. Mullet. The mullet, just... Oh, love it! Sam, you should do it on mullet. Fuck. Oh, just wait. Oh, I love Spike Aesthetics. This is such a good reason. I want to think masks are so cool. Like face masks. Yeah. I don't know a lot about this game, so I don't really know what to expect either. Old school K pop vibes, to be honest. Me too! Yes. It's making me confused. 
You should get him on it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Yo, that choreography is sick, though. Mm. Yeah, why am I vibing this model so much? <laughs> so it's different to other K-pop hairstyles. Mm. Like, they're very one track. It's like weird because they've, they've literally, like I said, they've got so many like old K-pop influences compared to the other songs I've shown you. That's what I keep thinking. Yeah. Oh, this chorus slaps. <laughs> Song, like I said, the chorus slaps, and I, I like to see a lot of similar similarities here in comparison to the ones you used to show us. Like yeah. when we started the series, like it seems a lot more like the old ones. I also feel like because we have to have the body one slightly lower for copyright reasons, it's harder to kind of get the the like full impact as to when you listen to it with headphones. But the fact that we can also say the chorus slaps even up with having the volume yeah. low. But yeah, what do you think of this in comparison to the others then? So where do you guys rank this? I don't know, it's not it's not even like it's not as good as even the Halsey one and obviously I preferred the XO one over like that. So I don't know, probably this is probably like my least favourite song. Okay. Well, I think video wise, it's just below the um, Stray Kids one. Yeah. Okay, so if we go around from from out of all the ones that I've shown you, what have been your favourites? So Sam's so your favourite one? Uh, the one before this. It's definitely my favourite. Stray Kids. Stray Kids. Yeah. Yeah. No way. <sighs> I think I have to go from the majority. I think Stray Kids was my favourite. Although I did love BTS and Halsey, that's like a really cool like collaboration. But yeah, no, Stray Kids. And Shira did a song on their album too. Really? Oh yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah. big names. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Stray Kids. Yes! Without, without a doubt. Yeah, I have to go Stray Kids. I like the one said. <clears throat> <laughs> so yeah, I forced my friends to react to K-pop boy groups and this is what happened. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, yeah, la, 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 all that stuff. All of those friends in the description. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Can I do that thing where you know you like finish the video and you just like <laughs> 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 Fuck me, I look like Martin Gosling today. What? <laughs>